Hey guys, CI here. So today I want to talk about death. Specifically, this whole idea that people die in threes. Does everyone die in threes or do just famous people die in threes? Because you hear that all the time. A famous person will die or maybe two famous people will die and someone will say, well, you know, they always die in threes. Does this happen with normal people or just famous people? The reason I'm bringing it up is it has happened once again. Three people have died. Lemmy Kilmeister, singer of Motorhead, and then right after him, David Bowie, and then this morning, Alan Rickman. Famous people seem to die in threes. I hope it doesn't happen with real people. That would be a real bummer if one of my friends died and then I started to wonder who the next two are going to be. But that's kind of a dark thought, so I won't go there. Instead, let's talk about the three who just died. Lemmy was a fascinating dude. He was not in any way handsome, and I once heard an interview with some of his fans. They were female, and they were talking about how cute they thought he was, and how they loved the little moles on his face, and I think when you're a rock star, it doesn't matter what you look like. <laughs> you're hot, just by being a rock star. You can be the ugliest dude in the world. You're a rock star. You're a good-looking fella. You're going to get the babes. I saw an interview with Lemmy. He just seemed like the nicest guy. He seemed like regular Joe. I loved everything about him in that interview. He just seemed like the greatest guy. Fame had not changed him at all. He was just your average dude out there making a living as a rock star. Loved him. Sad to see him go. Then, of course, a few days later, David Bowie dies, and he's not sort of a fringe rock star. I mean, he's huge. The thing that strikes me most about David Bowie was how willing he was to change. I really admire people who are willing to change, especially famous people. Because when you're famous, you have a certain look. And a lot of people, they want to keep that look the rest of their time in the public spotlight. They never want to change. Hey, I got famous with this look. I've got to keep that look or I won't be famous anymore. David Bowie didn't do that. He intentionally changed his look. I don't know how many times. The thing about him is he was talented enough that each change, he pulled it off. His musical ability was so good that his songs continued to be good, no matter the style, no matter the look. And I really admired him about that. I'm going to play a David Bowie song on my radio show this weekend. I think I know which one it'll be. It'll be one of his newer ones, kind of a remix that I like a lot. All his famous songs are getting played, so I might as well play one that's a little more obscure. So tune in this weekend to see which one it is. And then this morning I wake up and I find that Alan Rickman is dead, the third famous person to die. Alan Rickman has long been one of my favorite character actors. When I say character actor, I'm of course describing someone who's ne almost never the lead. He's not what you would call a movie star. But he's that guy who's always in the movie and always does a great job. Smaller role, kicks ass, and every time you see him in a movie, he's good. He's never the star, but he's always good. And that was Alan Rickman for me. He had a bunch of smaller parts, and he was always great. I loved him. I don't know if he was my favorite character actor, but he was definitely in the conversation. So I'm sorry to see him go. I hope that this stops with three. Famous people die in threes. I hope we don't get a fourth and a fifth. I'd hate to see more people that I love die. And I definitely hope it's only famous people and not people that I know personally, because that would really be a bummer. But anyway, Lemmy, Bowie, Alan Rickman, I'll miss all three of you. You led good lives. You led full lives, and you leave a lot of fans behind. So rest in peace. Have fun up there. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'll see you next week.